Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're going to take an overview look of our great new free Ordnance Survey route planning software that can be found at the bottom of our homepage on our website www.gpstraining.co.uk. So we're just going to have an overview look at the software first. So I've got it on the screen now from the bottom of our homepage of our website. And we can see we've got an Ordnance Survey map on the screen. It's centered in Rothbury where our offices are based. I'm using a mouse today with a scroll wheel on it. So with my mouse, I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out on the actual map page. The top right of the map page, you do actually have a plus and minus box where if you're not using a mouse, you can just simply click on the plus or minus to zoom in and out. So this covers all of Great Britain, Ordnance Survey, 1 to 50 and 1 to 25 maps. You'll see as I zoom out, it changes to a 1 to 50 and as I zoom in, it changes to a 1 to 25 map. We can see here we've got field boundaries and our permissive paths um, in England here are shown as green dashes. So we're on a 1 to 25 map. And as I zoom out, just zoom out using the minus at the top right of the screen, it changes to the 1 to 50 map. So I can't see the field boundaries anymore. So zooming in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse or the plus and minus in the top right of the screen. Moving the map around, all I need to do is hold down with the left click on my mouse and then I can drag the map around to where I want. Also on your keyboard, if you've got arrows, which you normally have on a Windows or Mac computer, you can use the up and down arrows, which I'm doing at the moment, and that moves the map left and right and up and down. So if I was to scroll right out, I'll just use the minus again in the top right of the screen. We'll just keep scrolling out, it goes to a road atlas level. And then to get the map somewhere else in the country, I could simply left click with my mouse, hold the, the cursor, which is the little cross symbol you can see in the center of the map down as I hold the left click of the mouse down and I can drag the map to where I want it to go. A nice feature of the software does actually have a search function called go to, which if I go to the toolbar along the top, it's got the wording go to. So if I click in the go to there and type a place name, so I'm actually going to type Rothbury in again. And where it's got Rothbury typed in the top left of the go to box now, if I click on go with my mouse, it gives me the search results. I've got Rothbury Northumberland here in the search results in the middle of the screen. If I click on there, the map will now centre on Rothbury. You see this big cross in the middle of the map. So if I now zoom in using the plus icon or the scroll wheel on my mouse, you'll see now it's centred back on Rothbury. What's nice with this, you can also put a grid reference in and search for a grid reference. So this will be an Ordnance Survey grid reference. So in the go to box where I typed Rothbury, I'm now just going to delete that and I'm going to put a grid reference for the start of a walk um, near where we work called Lord and Shaw's Car Park. So it could be a grid reference you've got out of a guidebook. So I've got NZ, which is my map sheet number, and then 053, which is the first three numbers, my Eastings as I go along my map, and 988 is my Northings as I go up the map. No space is required. And simply if I click on Go, the map will now center on that grid reference. So this might be a grid reference you've taken out of a guidebook. So I can now see on the map, I've got the car park symbol for the Lord and Shaw's car park. So that's just a nice way to get the map somewhere that you want to go quickly to. You'll notice as I move the cursor around on the map, you can see this box to the right of the go where it's got a longitude and latitude reference and also a grid reference. As I move the cursor on the map that changes so it shows the grid reference of where the cursor is. The other thing we're going to look at on the overview here, if we go to the top left of the screen where we've got our GPS training orange logo here. If I hover over that, it tells me it's going to hide the toolbar. So if I left click on there, the toolbar is now hidden along the top and I've just got the map. If I click on that GPS training logo again, the toolbar now reappears. We've got the three horizontal bars to the right of the GPS training logo. That is a main menu. So if I click on there, it shows me an option here where I can load a GPX file, which we're going to look at in some of our next videos. There's a help option and there's also a bit here that says about, which will just give you some information about the software. The final thing I'm going to look at on this overview video, if I just scroll down to the bottom of the screen, 
you'll see in blue lettering right at the bottom we've got the wording legend and we've also got a little ruler bar which shows us how we zoomed in what scale we're zoomed into as we zoom in and out that will change so I'll just zoom out here so the ruler bar changes to show you how we zoomed in or out but the bit that says legend what's nice if you're not if you haven't used a lot of ordnance survey maps and you haven't got one to hand and you want to look at the map key so you know what the symbols are that you're viewing on the map while i've got this 1 to 50 map up if i right click where it says legend left click or left click on legend with my mouse at the bottom right of the map screen it goes to the ordnance survey website where it shows me a pdf i'll just let this one load PDF of a 1 to 50 map that has all the symbols and tells you what they are on the map. If I then go back to our route planning software and if I zoom in, sorry, zoom, yep, zoom in, so I've now got the 1 to 25 map. If I left click again on that blue legend wording, the very bottom right of the map, it then takes me back to the Ordnance Survey website and it has a map key on a PDF for the 1 to 25 map. So I'm just going to go back to the screen now. Um, I'm using Google Chrome today to view the software. We do recommend if you're using a Mac that you use Google Chrome over the Safari and Firefox browsers. On a Windows computer, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge both work fine. So I hope you found this video useful just on the simple overview of the new planning software. On our next videos, we'll show you how you plan routes and edit them import routes from third-party websites and also how you transfer these routes then to your compatible GPS device or GPS watch. And thanks for watching.